When you ask Treyarch for double tap and you're like, no, we've got double tap at home and double tap at home is just akimbo weapons. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, all right. Let's see how it holds up against Orda. That's going to be interesting. That is definitely going to be interesting. We're going to be doing the Dark Aether in one game challenge for the new AMP 63 pistol. If you're new to my channel, new to this series, what we're doing is every time they add a brand new DLC weapon in, we take this weapon into zombies having no camo progression whatsoever. We've gotten zero kills so far with this weapon in zombies. We've leveled up in multiplayer. And the whole point of this challenge is to go into zombies, completely go from no camos to Dark Aether one single game. If you haven't tried this challenge, I highly recommend it. It's one of the funnest things for me to do in zombies. The stakes are higher in this challenge than with any other challenge, because if you get a kill and die, if you get a kill and crash, you have failed the challenge and you can't do it again until they add a brand new weapon. And with that, let's go ahead, go into game and start this. All right, so now we're in game on Firebase. -y. The reason we chose Firebase -y was because of the elite spawns. Gonna go ahead and get our first kill. Now that we have gotten it, there's no going back. If anything happens, we crash regardless of what happens. If we do not get Dark Aether this game, we fail this challenge and it will be a loss. And like I was saying, I recommend you guys do this. If anyone else does this, if you guys want to upload it to YouTube, tweet it out to me. I want to see other people going for this challenge. I'd love to see that. So if you attempt this challenge yourself, send it to me. That way I can give it a look. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and pack a punch it. The Doom and Gloom is what the pack a punch version is called on this game. And before on Black Ops 1 when Akimbo, these were called the Tokyo and Rose. The Doom and Gloom is a pretty good name for it, though. I like that a lot. Should be amped up. Oh my god, that would have been such a good Pack-a-Punch name. Dude, you need to work for Treyarch. 100% it should have been amped up. Dude, this thing's still frying headshots. I don't know. We don't have Deadshot yet, dude. And I, Akimbo-wise, we're still just absolutely dominating headshots. Let's go ahead and finish the, uh... Before we start getting elites left and right, let's get all of the 20 kill... Or the Jackrabbit medals. Let's just call them Jackrabbit medals. We need to get 10 Jackrabbit medals, which... Honestly, for this, it's going to be super easy. The baseball bat, that was kind of our demise. But yeah, we should, as long as we're not being dumb, be able to finish most of these right off the bat with these. Ooh, dang, almost lost it there. Yeah, trying to get headshots shooting down a stairwell is probably not our best option here. Lego, technically dual wield isn't more damage because in total you only get extra magazine. Yeah, but you can shoot both at the same time. You can just buy ammo. So essentially, you're shooting two at the same time and just buy ammo when you're out of ammo. I don't really care about running out of ammo in this game. I'll just buy more. But it is. It's double the damage per second because you're shooting two instead of one. Dude, these are so freaking fun. Just spamming with these things. I don't know how much I wanted a Kimbo full autos in this game until I actually receive them. When you ask Treyarch for double tap and you're like, no, we've got double tap at home. And double tap at home is just a Kimbo weapons. <laughs> what happened to Candace? I don't know. Last time I saw Candace, she was hanging out with your mom, so... Dude, these things fry just 80. Like, even look at these long-range critical kills. All those shots were just critical kills. Dude, even at long ranges. They, okay, we got one that wasn't a critical kill, kill. But for the most part, I still think these akimbo are definitely the way to go. Even while grinding camos on it. Because look at that. All you gotta do is aim up higher. And they're all gonna be crits. Dude, even without being fully upgraded. This is still pack one. And look at how crazy this thing can just shoot down sights on round 18. Like, look at this. The zombies just line up. And this is just melting them from way back there. Keep in mind, pack one on round night. Oh, we're not around ammo. Look at all those headshots. All those were headshots. We, you miss shots. Like, you do miss quite a few bullets when you're aiming up super high to hit headshots. But the shots that you do hit do so much extra damage. Because headshots in this new season are, like, super important in zombies. And if you're not hitting headshots, you, you, you probably should be. So... With Akimbo's, you've really got to aim high. And missing occasional shots isn't bad. Because if you're missing half your shots, but you're hitting tons more headshots, I still think that's more beneficial. Because you do more than double damage with headshots. Ah, That's, I think, the biggest factor with these, is they definitely don't hold a lot of ammo. I feel like we're buying ammo more often with these than what we would with other weapons. That's not really a bad thing, because in Cold War, I mean, you have access to ammo boxes. So having to buy ammo is like ammo used to be a huge factor in the previous COD games. Like if you're playing a World at War weapon, a Black Ops 1, a Black Ops 3, or a Black Ops 4 weapon, and it did not have a lot of ammo, the weapon would be garbage. Wouldn't matter how much damage it did because you couldn't just buy ammo. In this game, it's not a huge factor because if we run out of ammo, we just got to go to the nearest crate. And these were these were kind of garbage in zombies. This might have been one of the worst weapons in zombies in Black Ops 1. They were really bad. But in this game, I mean, they're frying. It's only round 27, but still, even on round 27, they're frying. 
We can even just use one of these. We don't even need to use both. Even one of them's frying. And, and now that we're reloading the other one, we can just swap out. We can use one while the other one reloads. So we just never stop shooting. Just back. Only shoot left. Now it's reloading. Only shoot right. Now it's reloading. Only shoot left. Okay, yeah. Let's 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 use both. Let's use our full force now. Take out the uh, the zombies instead of messing around. Ooh. All right. Let's see how it holds up against Orda. That's gonna be interesting. That is definitely gonna be interesting. Actually, these are better than I thought they would be for killing Orda. They're not the best. They're definitely better options. And you know, you're missing a lot of bullets with the akimbo. But I mean, it's working. Come on, come on, come on. All right. I screw the generator. I'm just going for Orda right now. Screw it, they can take the gen. And there we go, Orda down. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad for killing Orda, but I wouldn't recommend it. You definitely don't want to use these for the sole purpose of taking down Orda. It'll get the job done, but not the best. Uh, oh, let me in, 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 let me in. Nope, 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 we'll jump down. Tomok? Ooh, dude, get Tommied. Favorite wonder weapon in the game right now? That's a hard one. I think all the wonder weapons in this game are useful in their own capacity. Like, each wonder weapon has a fun use, like, it's really hard to pick. I think all the wonder weapons are fairly balanced, and depending on what you're doing, no single wonder weapon is, like, better than the others. The ray gun's the DPS king. For, like, camping strats, the, uh, the die shockwave is really good because of the infinite ammo capacity and the fact that the sucking scales with health. The ray K is really good for area defense and just, like, long-range shooting. So it's like they're all good at different things. So it's hard to pick a favorite wonder weapon. Round 34, boys. Still not halfway done with the headshots. We're... Actually, we are. We're exactly halfway done. We're halfway done with our headshots. We've got a ways to go. Oh, no, the lag. The lag is going to get killed, if anything. We might go down here. We might go down here. Holy crap. The firepower. Still no downs. This could potentially be our first flawless Dark Aether in one game run. Like, no joke, our first flawless. Your stream lagging? We're not lagging. That's just this game on my PC. Stream's not lagging at all. That's just my game. I'm playing like that. Unfortunately, there's no way to fix it. I've tried just about everything in the world to fix the lag, but, um... That is just how this game plays on my PC, bro. And we're out of bullets. Whew. You know, it's funny because I haven't even got a secondary yet. The only weapon, like, if I run out of ammo, I'm screwed because I don't even have a backup. Like, if I get cornered by zombies, I'm going to be stuck with my fist out. That's all I'm going to have. Uh, last week, there was an issue with YouTube unsubbing people from accounts. I got multiple people telling me they were unsubbed. So even if you were subbed, just check the sub button again. Because even if you've been getting my videos recommended, you might not be subbed anymore. Because of a thing that was going on last week, there was two people who told me they were unsubbed. So just double check to see if uh, the sub button's gray, not red. <sighs> 1,100 more headshots and we're done. You got unsubscribed? See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I got every stream, we get a few people who got unsub, which is so dumb. Like, <laughs> we're, we're actively going for 100K and YouTube's like, you know what? We're just going to unsub some people sometimes to make the challenge even harder. Like, bro, stop. I don't want it to be harder. <laughs> YouTube's like, nah, you, you need a challenge, right? We're occasionally just going to unsub a few people. You know, make it interesting. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> can we not do that? Can we can we do it on easy mode, not hard mode? Oh, no, we might go down here. They don't be so hyped that this is our first flawless game. Our first flawless Dark Aether in one game. All because Imposta challenged us. Was that? I think we just got 1,500 crits. That's it. I, if we're only missing 1,000 more critical kills and we're done. If we can just stay alive for a thousand more crits, we'll get this entire challenge done with no downs. I know, but I still want to test it. I Like I said, I still want to take these all the way to round 85. And our v videos for that, every time we test out a weapon, I'm going to take it all the way to 85 because that is the new health cap. And it's going to take forever to make the videos, but I still want to show you guys what it's going to be like using the weapon at the max health cap. It, yeah, if you get a critic kill kill while it's an insta kill, yes, those still count for headshots, but you still have to hit them in the head. You can't just hit him anywhere with a uh, insta kill and it count. I mean, on round 38, it's still just chopping through zombies right now. Mimic, no mimicking, no mimic. Woo. 
Ooh, Ring of Fire coming in clutch there. Do I see armor on the ground? I could really go for some armor right now. I think it'd be really freshing and hit this spot if the game could just give us a little bit of luck and drop some armor. Oh, the lag's getting real bad. Oh, it doesn't help us stop the lag, though. I wish there was a gun that would remove the lag from the game. Boom, surprise internet maintenance. That's what it felt like right there for a second, Lingo. If you just saw that lag we got, that, that super chat was perfect timed. No surprise internet maintenance. We're so close. We just got to finish here, boys. We've gotten so many crashes at the finish line. I'm so afraid, and I'm just, I'm trying to just speed through this as quick as possible. Get these the last 700 headshots we need. Honestly, I think we might just have to let this generator go. I don't think we kill Orda in time. We could focus on the zombies and kill all the zombies, though. But, like, last time it took us forever to kill Orda with these. And I don't think it's worth our time. I say we just lose the generator. It's not like we need power. And we don't come on this area in the map anyway. So there's the 2,500 kills with it. All we're missing now are the 2,500 Pack-a-Punch kills and the 2,500 critical kills. Those are the only two challenges left until every camo is unlocked. That's two camos left on this pistol. That is it. Oh! Oh, 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 <laughs> almost, oh, almost lost the flawless right there. Where'd my stuns go? I used to have five stuns. I guess I actually picked up a decoy. Oh, yeah. As soon as this ring and fire runs out, we're going to have to leave. Round 44, I don't think we can stay in this spot anymore. I think 44. Oh, there's the 250 kills. We are missing one camo. We are down to one single camo remaining for this. That is it. Oh, rip. We can't buy armor there. Oh, no. That was the bad part about losing power. No crashes, no blue screen. Oh, there's no power here either? Dude, you lose both of those stands if you lose power? That's like... You lose two of the three armor stands here if you lose power in that one area. That's kind of not cool. Oh, why would we corner ourselves? Even if we have a ring of fire, cornering ourselves is never a good idea. Especially when there's mimics all over the place. Yep, I'm out. Ooh, maybe not, maybe not. Are we going to be able to... Ooh, dodge, dodge, dodge. Dude, we don't have any sort of, like, stems or flash grenades or... Any of that. Oh no, Mimic. Mimic, 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 Mimic. Oh, of course. A Mimic spawns behind us. Yep, that Mimic's taking a lot of shots now. The Mimics are taking a lot of shots. Oh no. 350 kills left, boys. That is it. 350 critical shots, and we are done. This will be our first flawless dark ether in one game ever done. Oh, the lag! The lag! Oh. No lag, no blue screens, no crashes. No lag, no blue screen, no crashes. No lag, no blue screen, no crashes. This has only been an hour and 30 minutes. This might be one of our quickest dark ether in one games ever, too. Like, that is crazy fast for a dark ether in one game challenge. We got a ton of points. That's because I haven't bought any other weapons. Legitimately, we haven't gone down, so I've only bought all of the perks once, and I've only packed and bought one weapon. I haven't used my essence. Dude, less than 250... Oh, we're not quite yet. Pretty much 250 critical kills away, and then we're done. 250. That's like one or two rounds. I, dude, I can almost taste it. And then we'll, then we'll try to exfil. Then we'll try to exfil. Boys, we're right here. Just, just, this, this, 250 more kills. All we have to do is not crash. Focus time. Focus time. This, still flawless. No downs on this run. This will be our first flawless Dark Ether in one game run if we can just manage it. Yo, why is everyone calling round 40, or 47 the crash round? 47 is not the crash round. It's 48. We all know that. 48's the crash round, not 47. T minus less than 100 kills, boys. We are 97 away. This is it. This is the final, the final stretch. It's the final countdown. Da -da -da. Did I not buy ammo? Did I still not buy ammo? Oh, oh. That could have been the flawless. That could have been the flawless right there. We could have just disappeared. Less than, dude, we're like less than 10 away. This is it. Okay, it's definitely not doing damage to bosses. Dude, come on. Any kill now. Any kill. I don't want to press tab. Like, we're, any one of these kills will get it to us. Come on, come on, come on. 
Dude, how do we not have it yet? Bro. <laughs> if we crash. Dude, a zombie needs to spawn in right now. A zombie needs to spawn in right now. We ended the... We're finishing it on round 50, which is cool. But dude, if a zombie doesn't spawn in right now and we disconnect, I'm going to flip out. Dude, come on. Here we go. Didn't count on a dog. Dude, come on right here. Last one. What the? Okay, so I guess we got headshots with something else. This is the only weapon we've used. Is that it? There we go. Golden Viper for the AM AMP 63, boys. Let's get some gold spam in chat for Dark Aether. One game flawless with the brand new pistols. Now we're going to go ahead, try to exfil. After we exfil, we're going to hop into a private match and see what these weapons look like with all of the mastery camos on them. Oh, no, 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 no. Exfil time. Watch this crash on the exfil. I like how one chopper pretty much guarantees exfil. All you got to do is call one chopper gunner and it will kill like everything you need to kill. Come on, two hostiles left. Of course, one of the last two is a freaking mangler. 20 seconds left. Dude, no! Okay, I thought he was glitched. I thought he was glitched out of the map. All right, come on. Come on, let's go, baby. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, boys. Flawless Dark Aether. One game with the new pistol. And here's what it looks like when you unlock every single camo for one weapon in one game. There are 36 camos here. Look at this. Look at us just go across. This is what happens if you go start to finish get every camo in one game this is all you unlock it just keeps going look at all that xp all those camos 36 here and on top of that we can go ahead hop into a private match and use dark ether on this bad boy all right so here we go here is the new pistol with the golden viper camo Eh, not impressed it doesn't look bad it actually looks better than a lot of weapons but uh yeah let's definitely look at the other ones all right now moving on to plague diamond here it is with plague diamond and looks exactly like I thought it would. Still, I don't know. Plague Diamond just... I liked it a lot at the start of the game. Now, not so much. All right, now the moment we've all been waiting for, the reason we just played that entire game, here is Dark Aether on the AMP-63. Looks pretty freaking good, actually. He's got really good coverage. The, uh, the black actually fits really well with that line across. I'm pretty happy with this. It could look way worse. There are definitely weapons that look way worse. And this has got... A pretty insane coverage. I'm happy with it. It was definitely worth that. And now we have this right here. With that, boys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you for watching the whole thing. And I'll see you guys next time. I want to take the last few moments here to thank everyone who's became a YouTube member or a Twitch subscriber. And an extra special thanks to everyone who's taken it a step farther. We've got the man whose name should be really easy to pronounce. Ya yeah, master. We've got Chef, a.k.a. Chief, a.k.a. Classified. The man who needs no introduction, Hunter Ronaldo. And then last but not least, the man with the most stable PS5 ever, DX 2069. All these people have taken it a step above and beyond and became Unlock++ members on YouTube. Thank you guys so much, true homies.